Welcome to Freightways Weather. I'm meteorologist Nick Austin. Hope you're having a great day so far. Going to bring you up to speed on what weather is going to affect freight movement across the United States today and even offshore. That's right. We're going to start by talking about Tropical Storm Dorian. It's changing course a little bit. And this happens, which is why you need to keep up with it every day. So right now, uh, the winds are about 60 miles an hour. It's still a tropical storm, but it could turn into a hurricane uh, during the next 24 to 48 hours. Right now, it is heading towards the U.S. Virgin Islands, the eastern portions of Puerto Rico, probably making landfall in those areas with uh, tropical storm conditions. That's winds of 39 to 73 miles an hour, likely within the next 24 hours, possibly hurricane strength winds during the next 24 hours with a hurricane watch in these areas. So uh, initially about this time yesterday, Dorian was expected to kind of skirt towards the south of Puerto Rico. Now it's going to move east of Puerto Rico after moving through the Virgin Islands, and then it'll head back over the open warm waters of the Western Atlantic Ocean and eventually moving through parts of the Bahamas or just east of the Bahamas by the end of the week and possibly by Sunday or Labor Day as a hurricane, Dorian could be making landfall somewhere on the east coast of Florida. The exact position, way too early to tell. The exact strength of the storm, too early to tell. But it could still be a hurricane uh, as it gets closer to Florida by Sunday or on Labor Day. So for now, it's mainly going to be containerized cargo, the uh, ocean shipping lanes in this area, uh, where the ships will have to either slow down or just kind of steer around the storm. So some delays there. And of course, local uh, interruptions and disruptions to businesses and to supply chains in the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico, and then possibly in the Bahamas later in the week. So that's the latest on Dorian. Right now, still a tropical storm, but it could get stronger. And it is changing course a little bit to the uh, further to the east than what was expected. But we'll keep track of this. It's possible that the path and the intensity, of course, they will change a little more as we go through the next few days. Now, back on land in the continental United States, we're talking about the possibility of some flash flooding along the I-95 corridor with some heavy rain and thunderstorms today. Uh, this is from portions of southern Con uh, Connecticut all the way up into Maine. There are some flash flood uh, watches for these areas, so there will be heavy rain at times for all the drivers out there along the I-95 corridor in this part of the country. Localized flash flooding, so there could be some roadblocks on secondary roads and possibly some interstate ramps. Lastly, we're going to go back out to the western United States right now. And we do have the uh, threat for wildfires from parts of Colorado, Utah, the Four Corners region, all the way out into parts of California and even interior parts of the Pacific Northwest. Thunderstorms, but mainly dry thunderstorms in some of these areas, very low afternoon humidities, and also some frequent lightning with these dry thunderstorms. So those will all combine uh, for this wildfire threat, possibly a lot of new fires starting over the next few days. And the winds will kick up near those dry thunderstorms too. some really strong gusts, which could spread uh, any uh, smoke from the fires across possibly interstate highways and it'll make it a little difficult for some of you deadheading out there as well. That's a look at the weather that's impacting freight movement for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a great day and be careful out there.